Hey, what is up, guys? Joe Boy Z, and welcome to another TubeCast. Now, today I've got an awesome Twitch streamer, and she's also a YouTuber by the name of Gemma. How are you doing, Gemma? Hello. Good, good. How are you? Good, good, good. Now, for anyone who wants to know, I'm going to put the link in the description down below. Go check out uh, Gemma Rambeta. Give her some love. Awesome Twitch streamer and uh, plays a variety of different games. A lot of them are like shooters and it's an awesome channel to sit and entertain and watch. So uh, I'm going to jump straight into these questions with you, Gemma. And uh, yeah, here we go. So uh, how long have you been a gamer or gaming for? So my first... Um, gaming device, I'll say, would be the Commodore C64. Um, so I remember when I was like two, so I'm 34, so I remember like I'm two, three year old playing, and uh, I remember my first game being um, two of them, I remember is Bubble Bobble and um, Dizzy Prince of Yoga Folk. So I've been, yeah, gaming like over 30 years. Um, I saw the Commodore C64 box as well. <laughs> You, what, you still got it? I still have it, yes. I did stream it as well once. It was great. Wow. Yeah. I had a C64, and then I went to the Amiga. Um, I went straight. I think we had that for a while, and then I went straight to the Sega Masters, and we didn't have much money, um, really. And then I remember them scrimping and saving for it. And my childhood was very weird anyway, um, to be honest with you. So I, um, yeah, I remember, like, lying about my age at a certain point and trying to do a paper round just so I could save up and buy some stuff and that. So, um, yeah, I've, I won't cover the C64 for a while, actually, if I, if I remember right. Wow, C64. A lot of memories on that. Yeah. <laughs> so when did you decide to become a content creator uh, on YouTube and Twitch? I know you do mostly on Twitch, uh, but you've got, like, a YouTube channel. What got you interested in streaming? of a deep story very deep and dark story um yeah. youtube i don't really bother with it i just upload say i've got any clips i'll just put them on there i won't bother putting them on but because twitch can you can upload to twitch um yeah i just i just put stuff that way i don't like to have the same content on both if it's going to be different then i put it on there um but um a few year back um um basically i'm just trying to think how to put words what found me with youtube uh with, with twitch and that was by accident um I, I was in a deep hole at the time i'd actually um be five years on the 28th of june um God, sorry i don't even have to put this in words i lost a child on the 28th of june 2015 she was born sleeping I think I um and um um I died that day basically mm. and um I've always been as, as a young one I've always been an entertainer and stuff like that in a way like I've I don't have Facebook anymore but beforehand I, I had uh, I've always been like getting people to come and watch me game I've always been the odd one out so I've always been that like gamer um but yeah when my um, daughter passed, she was named Aurora. Um, I went in a dark hole and um, I, I, did, I did try to commit suicide and um, I failed. Mm. And I was in hospital for a month um, and that was probably the worst month ever. Sat there like crying every night thinking, um I failed to even death. I even failed at that. Um because um like I have children but I was like I remember just um, um their family having them and I'm just like I left a note and I went, I'm done to Miss Anne, I'm done. I didn't even tell anybody, nobody knew what were happening with me. Um like in my head. But when I come round a bit, I come home and um I hid away then. So it's been very bubbly, very outgoing. I used to be going out partying every week or going to events, etc. So I was very, very outgoing. I was always the loudest one at the crowd and stuff like that. But I'd always I was always the one though that still played Battlefield 
uh, while everybody were getting ready to go out, they'd be all painting the nails, and I'm like, oh, well, I'm done, me. <laughs> <I'm, laughs> um, yeah, I've got my nails already done. I'm playing Battlefield still, so yeah. Um, um, and then I don't know what it worries. Um, I'm watching a YouTuber, but I've been I've been watching for quite a long time beforehand, and that was Jack Sepsky. Um, I do actually I do actually have the link in my panels to prove because people went well how have you been something that long i actually put some weird photos of me with jack septicai and my kids going hey to intro on her instagram so yeah. it was like it dated back into 2014 so but i, I won't really i'm like i never got understanding why why are people watching in game why <laughs> i don't what the hell what i don't get it but he kept, he kept me amused, and I'm like, okay, and I'm like, God, he's loud, and I'm thinking, oh, yeah, we're kind of, um, but I never thought anything pursued, I didn't even have a clue what he was doing, um, but then I was playing battle after, like, I'd shut my son away, like, I'd come out of there and rehabilitating at home, shut my son away, um, that was the day as well, I were like, I cut my ties from my family, my friends, so, um, from, like, from this day, from now, I have not had in contact with anybody, not even somebody who lives um, 100 metres away from me. I've just, just cut all ties with everybody. Um, I, and But I was really lonely at the same time. I was having some more personal stuff going off, uh, as well as trying to heal from um, losing a child. And I had to, like, a funeral and everything for her and that, and um, trying to deal with that. And um, I used to just dive away in Battlefield. I used to just play Battlefield to the point that I'd be more worried about my tags than worried about life. And that's how I got my frustration out of my anger because I was so angry with everything. Mm. Um, and I got to the point from I stopped being loud and I stopped talking as much to in life, but then doing it on the game. And then I saw an app on Xbox and it said Twitch. <laughs> I thought, what's this? I had a connect at time as well and um sat there and i've got this bright red hair and um i yeah playing battlefield and i'm just like broadcast and i'm like is that so what jack does i'm like oh, i don't know so i booted it up didn't i didn't think no of it and all of a sudden this chat thing's on side and i'm like and somebody said something to me and i went who the heck are you? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and it just went from there. Um, then me became back. It became, I was me again. People mm. wanted to watch me. People actually enjoyed me being me. And it was just crazy. It, and it just, it just formed from then. And when I realised that I was in this box on a camera and I realised it was like Jack Sepsikai, this game and a camera and I'm like oh my god I'm being a hypocrite okay <laughs> um okay and then it just went from there I'd never watched a streamer before I'd never seen a streamer never seen twitch before ever to the day I booted the channel up and it just wow. went from there yeah nice how long have you, you been doing it for um would be the 30th of August 2015 um on and off um I've had quite a lot of breaks um but yeah, I, the channel's um, nearly five year old. Wow! Well, and you you just recently got like uh, a flood of new followers as well. Yes, yeah, that kind of happened on the other day, which um, I've, I've been given a program. So hopefully, these will be removed. Somebody tried to troll me on my day back return on Tuesday. Um, yeah. yeah, sadly, I, I'm used to it. I've had people even troll me of my own daughter's name, and Oof. yeah, the last year when I did a charity stream for, in memory of my daughter, um, somebody, um, 42 accounts adding me as friends, sending me whispers with my daughter's name and day of death. Um, so yeah, wow. so I tend to have uh, quite a few breaks just to mentally gather my thoughts before I say silly things really. Yeah, it's like regain regain yourself and Yeah. So 
as as you mentioned, you you play in Battlefield. Have you got a favorite genre of games, or are you, are you just like interested in playing all different kinds of games? What's your favorite genre? I play everything really. My favorite game would be of all time would be Final Fantasy VII. Um, but then I love Battlefield. Mm. I love FPS games. Um, so I'm variety. I, I I literally do like variety. And if it's a trophy, if there's a trophy. <laughs> I, I yeah I I'll I'll take it yeah um but yeah I enjoy um I prefer to play on my own I don't really yeah. like thingy but I'm starting to get better with that now I'm actually um forming trust with people and now that I'm I, I, yeah because I'm I'm very lonely gamer as well I, I really shut myself away so um yeah I do really I'm really excited to enjoy a game with people so really anything I was playing battleships the other day on PC. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I play anything. Um, this is some stuff I just think. Uh, but if I enjoy the company, then yeah, I'll. I don't mind. Awesome. And talking about like first person shooters and and Battlefield, you used to play airsoft as part of a part of a team. Do you still play airsoft, or have you retired from that? Do you still show an interest in that? Um, I don't play. No, I I've not seen him. I sh- I shut myself off the last five years. So I've I literally been I've been on lockdown for the last five years. I've been still going to work, and that is it. I literally um, I, I I shut myself away um, from everybody. I cut my ties from everybody. Um, I just saw the world in a different light when I was a little girl. I still love it. I still have my guns. I still have my outfit and stuff, and I'd love to get back into it, but. Um, yeah, um, and I don't even talk to the, any of the guys now. I'm devastated about that. I'm devastated because I just disappeared out of the no trace. But, yeah, I used to love it. And that's where Rambetta came from, Girl Rambo. So I used to show up okay. at – I used to show at Airsoft in my heels. I don't wear trainers or anything, sneakers. I wear heels, dresses, so all the big way. And they used to say to me, oh, look, the little princess is here. I'm a princess. <laughs> and then I'd come out in these – Army gear, the bit oh, and and I'm I'm like how I am in battlefield. I am in real life. Like I'll just dive. I'm like they're all going like sneaking as me. They know I'm coming right for you, and that's where Rambetta came from, Gil Rambo. So Princess Rambetta. Um, but then obviously I lost the princess. I think it's because I've seen too many people with that name, princess, and um, not judging anybody. It's just I want I want my my name. Um, and I felt like princess that someone calling me that were like, ah, I'm 34. I don't need this like thing. I want to, you know, I'm a grown woman. Um, I like, um, I don't mind you calling me Gemma. A lot of few people did anyway before. So that's why I dropped yeah. the name. But I, yeah, I'm a better lost be there. I like that though. Girl number. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Now talking about, like the the look and stuff like that. You have a very very unique look and style about you with tattoos and your change of hair color and stuff. How many tattoos do you have? And can you tell us about the changes in the hair color throughout your streams? I've got six, and the hair colors. Yeah, I've I've been doing it for years. I actually found an old picture. I posted. I don't think you might have seen it on Twitter. A picture of me at sixteen with his blue hair. <laughs> so things never change. I even found an old, my old wedding picture from 10 years ago, and I'm sticking twos up on the wedding picture, and I'm like, things never change. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like to be different. I, I like uh, unique. I like to just change. Um, so one day I could just be all, like, wear dark things, and people would think, like, um, I could be um, some bike chicks, goth or anything like that and then all of a sudden i've got this bright pink dress on and i'm wearing you know pigtails i'm quite just different and i think what it is was when i used to get bullied as a kid as well that my unique like being like that people and i'm like but i don't but i don't like your clothes i don't care about you've got adidas clothes i don't care i don't want to be like that i'm i don't want to be the same and that's how i used to always see it is like I was always I was always weird like that. I like to just be totally different, and I'm very in all my pictures. I'm different every time in them. Um, mm. But tattoos, yeah. My first one was when I was thirteen. I skived school. 
<laughs> at Sky School, and I just with a friend, and I yeah, um, I randomly got a tattoo saying Gemma, just in case I forgot my own name. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was just so little, and it, I, I felt I was so cool. I thought I was so like cool having it done. I've had it covered up now with the big tattoo, but um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, um, I just I like to stand out. I, I was like Sandra. I like uniqueness. I like being different. I like I like seeing difference in people, mm. and um, I I always say like you know when you stand out from a crowd to be noticed. Um, I don't know. I just I just I don't want to be the same as everybody else. I don't yeah. want to follow suit, and that's not offense to anybody. It's just from what I've gathered is growing up that that's a lot what a lot of people tend to do. Oh my god, there's a new flower dress out. Everybody has to get the no. That's <laughs> no. That's just rank. No, no. And I, I'd be I'll be wearing something like that and they go, oh my god, that's so like whatever. And I'm like, I don't care. You spent like a hundred pound on that, right? And you look like you look ridiculous. So, so yeah, I'm like, uh, yeah, just sort of things like that. Yeah, I sound bad on that. Um, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm very much the same. I, I gotta have my own, my own trend, my own style, my own image. I just can't see myself going out the street and seeing a reflection of myself everywhere. Yeah. No, I, I just have to be different than everyone else. Yeah. Now, if you had to choose one favourite game, what would that be and why? Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4? Battlefield 4. It's got a start, it's got a big backstory. Battlefield 4. That's what created Princess Rambert. Yeah. It was, that. that's what, because of Battlefield 4, I did Airsoft. Battlefield 4 was the creation of my channel. Battlefield 4 was the creation of my name. And Battlefield 4 was my antidepressant i sniped somebody when i first started it and i just spoke with my husband at time as well um it, and that went a bad way um and battlefield 4 had just come out and i'd never played it never played any battlefield and i ended up sniping somebody on it and it turned out the guy was in the same town as me and we're like, oh, oh God. And it turned out his best friend was the godfather to my son. So, wow. yeah, and I got really good friends with him. And he showed me a whole nother, like, well, we Airsoft. And because of Airsoft, the name. And then because of the name, that's when, obviously, I could name my channel. Um, and I've put, like, I think I've got, like, since 2013, I think I've just got, like, eight, 9,000 hours in Battlefield franchise. Jeez. Um, yeah, I had a look on battle log, it went pretty. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I would say overall, if I want to say like what a big impact and the game of how much I would say that definitely. It's I have it's changed me. And you won't think it like it, oh, it's just a game. It's it's crazy what it's done for me. Um so I yeah. would say overall Battlefield 4, but just because of that. Would you be playing that on your channel anytime soon? Yeah. I, I did. Um, I, it makes me rage. Like, it, really? it, it, yeah, it, I broke consoles and PCs because of this game. <laughs> um, my, I was playing with the dice devs the other week. It was a dice event. Um, they took my tags and I screamed. I mean, I don't like my tags being taken. Um, yeah, it's just one of my form of angry, and yeah, and I found out how much that Battlefield 4 makes me angry, yeah. So, I try it, brings a dark side that I don't want the channel to see anymore, so that's why I stopped playing it on the channel. But I, I may do, I may do, depends if people are ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I also read, um, that you're a, an only child like myself and video games were your go-to. What was it like growing up as an only child for you? Um, for parents that didn't really give a monkeys about me, um, but, um, 
that was my only thing. So getting bullied, yeah, consoles, gaming was my only way because I was a mongy uh, child as well. But a lot of things were happening to me as a child as well. Mm. Um, quite a reflective point that I was put in witness protection at 10. Um, and then my mum just didn't give a monkeys about me. She really didn't. After like bringing my children up to how they are to what my mum was with me, it's like, wow. So, I, I, yeah, I don't. It's... Um, so yeah console was just my way of shutting out um and you're not having a brother and sister to do two player um i'm kind of glad that i just had the console to myself actually i don't allow my children to share they have one each so yeah. i kind of like that they should have the you know should have their own if you um so it's it's hard to explain now like I went over to go to school and everyone was like, oh, I've got a relation this year, I've got a relation that year. And, and you'll be sat there and you say, oh, um, it, it was kind of weird, different. Like, and that made me feel odd when I, because everybody was late, related to each other, which I wasn't. Mm -hmm. So I always felt really like pushed aside. Um, and then I used to get bullied anyway. So. Um, yeah, the console was my best friend. I used to like talk to the characters. Um, I used to, I mean, I used to fancy the hell out of Sonic. I don't know why. I just remember. <laughs> I'm that weirdo of fancy. You've seen yourself on, I mean, I fancy Kratos. Uh, yeah, I get these little forms. And what I do, especially when I'm doing third person, I like to talk to the character like I'm not controlling that person. So I used to always like have this like make believe thing talking to him and it's kind yeah. of weird but that's how i seem to just got on um and that's what i show now so when i'm playing say uncharted for example and say nathan drake decides to throw yourself a cliff it's like wow nathan come on get up what are you doing <laughs> and it's like well you're controlling but i try not to yeah so i try and bring them to life really and that just trying to break, do that what i used to do as a kid i still do it now i'm like off the channel so yeah well, that's interesting. That's interesting because I, I sort of did the same for myself. Um, not not like that, but it was more like as you just said, like you know, if someone falls down, like come on, get up, get up, get up. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go, 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 and yeah. all things like that. I still do that. I still do it on my streams. I still do it. Just ask questions. What are you doing? What are you doing? I just feel really thought not talk back to me. I'd be like, whoa, well, that's it there. <laughs> but that's my way, yeah. So I, I do actually like not to talk to myself, but I think out loud. Yeah. I do think, yeah, I think out loud a lot. So, um, yeah, and I think that's how I just got by, really. Um, and you should just play all the games, just, just complete them. That's, um, that's how I just got on with it. Um, I think so. Trophy Hunter. Yes. I only started trophy <laughs> hunting two years ago. No, three years ago. I'd like to send you a link, actually, of um, I there was a trophy site where it tells you how much m money in games I've got in the time. So it said 2017 to, to end of 2019, how much money worth of games only in PlayStation. Because I, I started on Xbox first and I had PC, but, and I nearly died. I was like, wow, that's a lot um yeah <laughs> it's a lot um and i can't get over it and i've got this really bad addiction and people go oh but you know pc's better xbox but for me i like that trophy and when i played if you remember when i did doom eternal on pc yeah. i completed it on the hardest mode i didn't feel rewarded i hated it so what really? i did i did i hated it i'm like wow that's it. Okay. So I went and bought it on PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, um, yeah, I just didn't, um, it just, yeah, the, it just feels, it's some trophies. I know there's achievements and stuff like that, but for me, it's trophies. I'm just obsessed. Yeah. That's cool. I, 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 I do a couple of trophies, but, uh, if I'm playing a story-driven game, the story just like takes me in, and I play it like two or three times till I 
Oh. Yeah. Um, that's why I do. I always like to play stuff on the hardest mode because that's where I think the story sticks in. Because when the cut scene is playing over and over and over again because you've died that many times on the hardest mode, that cut scene sinks in. Mm. Um, and I've cried to many games I've completed because it's got to me. Um, and one of them would be my would be the one of my favourite would be Alien Isolation. Um, yeah. hardest mode without dying, um, without killing humans, um, beaten. And I cried. I've still got the clip now where I'm crying. I uh, just felt such a great achievement um, getting that. Um, I just like to push boundaries. That's why I do it hardest mode. I like to push. Cause do, you, do, you, do you do the hard mode first, then like the medium, or do you just stay with stay hard, hard, that's it? hard mode? Yeah, stay hard mode. I like to do all that because, as an entertainer, uh, aspects as well, um, especially as a woman um, streamer, I want to show people that I'm not, um, um, I'm, I'm much more than just a, like, yeah your average person I, I want to show them that if i'm going to, if you want to what why do you want to watch me it's like well i'm going to put you on a show i'm going to do what is required of me i'm going to play the game and i'm going to put a bloody goddamn show on at the same time and i'm oh, going nice. to do something even more and that's why i do it because um and i offend a lot of people i don't mean to ever say this but i always say pussy mode it's a laugh but it's my joke and i've upset many people and i'm like but if you want to be a streamer and you want to stand out from the crowd what makes you want them to watch you i always say you know and i mean i'm not an expert um, i mean i'm not exactly i keep having breaks and stuff like that you know my viewers fluctuate and that's fine because that's you know i i have to take my breaks and i'm not here for i mean i've been able to play for partner for over a year and i've not done it because i don't want to it's not what i want i just want to be an entertainer mm -hmm. um and just it, just yeah I, I i get so much kick out of just doing what i do it just feels great um and i say yeah if you i always say you want to stand out from the crowd there's so many streamers now there's so many content creators there is so many what so i always like to say what you know bring what do you bring into the table it's like getting employed. Do, do you want that person who it's like two people in it and a teacher if you say you hire a teacher do you want to hire that person who's got them, you know, these levels here and he's, he's, he's there and he's going to be like teaching? Or are you going to have this quiet person who is like, um, uh, you know, the, the person who's going to be working, uh, choosing to have that person to work is going to be, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm not always someone's cup of tea, but I just I, I just want to be that, you know, just out there, if you get what I mean, and just... Yeah. I, if, that, if that makes sense, I'm not really going to explain stuff. Here. No, <laughs> it, no, yeah. it, makes, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And I get a lot of stick as well for being a woman um, and just phrase and stuff like that. And I'm just like, I just, yeah, I just want to just show that you don't, I don't need to, I don't, you know, I don't, sometimes I don't even have camera on. Um, and, you know, and it makes me overwhelmed that people come in the channel and that, and that's what I like, being able just to still put that show on without even needing all that stuff sometimes. And just, yeah. um, it's just me shouting at people. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me shouting. But yeah, I'm not everyone's cup of tea. Um, I, I, I get that. I'm like that in real life, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, but that's fine. If people don't like me, that's fine. Um, I just like doing my own thing differently. No, that's that's always that's always a good uh, thing to have though is is originality and just be yourself. Yeah, and I'm very myself when I'm streaming. To be honest with you, brings it really brings it really out in me. Well, it's true because I, I I find it entertaining watching you. I sit back and yeah. you know sometimes I do lurk and I'm just sitting there and I'm just just watching the game and you know I I laugh then as well when comments are coming up and you're replying to the comments like i'm just sitting back and it's, it is like watching the tv show it is like you are entertaining and that's why i keep coming back and once again for everyone's watching this video be sure to go over and show Gemma some love 
sub to a Twitch, follow a Twitch, you'll be entertained. That's all I can say. You'll be entertained. It's a good laugh and it's a good bunch of people, good vibes in there. Yeah, they are. They're amazing. I mean, like I talk all this, but, you know, I still sit there every day and I'm like, I'll put my channel up and I still am shocked that people even come in. I, I say all this like I'm thinking, hey, I'm, I know what I'm thinking and that, but my anxiety of pressing that broadcast button every time is, is crazy. And, and, and it, I'm willing now because it just shocks me because I'm like, would I follow myself? No. I don't, you know, sometimes I don't even like me. <laughs> so it shocks me and overwhelms me that even one person wants to come in. And I'll get yeah. messages and people going, thank you, Gemma. And it's like, holy shit. Like, thank you. I'm, I'm overwhelmed, so much overwhelmed that even anybody wants to take even a time for me. And to put up with me shouting, <laughs> just to put up with me like that, it just overwhelms me that I can be myself and people like it. It's, it, it's like, whoa, oh, it's the best feeling ever. Yeah. It is. And I kind of replaced my daughter. I could never replace her, but I lost my child and I, and but I gained a family and I have to see that because I have to keep moving forward. If I could replace her, if, you know what I mean, like get her back, replace, you know, get me to Twitch to get her back. I would do that in a heartbeat, but I can't ever do that. It's impossible. Mm. But I, but for me to, for, to have lost something so dear and to gain something like I have, if you know, I'm very lucky and fortunate for that because not many people have been able to do, like, especially coming from that, to do what I've done. So I, I'm very fortunate and lucky for that. I really am. Mm. And and talking about uh, being a mum, uh, you as a parent, do you find it hard to juggle everyday family life doing mum duties while streaming on Twitch? No, because I, I I I find doing Twitch and YouTube and doing live things is just like, well, which one do I do? Which one do I do? And it, you know, it's a bit I, hard at times. Um, I don't really because my kids are older. My my eldest now moved out. Um, he's moved near to his university. Um, I've been very fortunate because before lockdown, my little girl, me and my ex-husband have like half and half custody. We did that together because we've remained friends and we've done that. And then my other lad, um, they, you know, because of family. So I'm quite fortunate. So the last few years has probably been my most easiest time as a mum because they're like older now. So they've got their own voice to go, hey, uh, going to go to Nana's, like their family, and they go to there. So I, I do, I do when I've got that free time, and then when they're asleep at night because they're older, they're not babies. Um, I've got my time then. Um, so yeah, and they're not difficult. I mean, my, I've had my little girl join me on. Um, shit, I don't think she'll do it again though. Um, I had her join me on the Twitch things, and I showed her up. <laughs> <laughs> um, my boys have actually come and stream tonight me um and took my tags yeah. yeah they've done that several times um so we're a gaming family as well um and they're such good kids they are they're amazing they really are and um even like through all these they just just keep going it's fantastic and i i've got very very lucky as a mum that um as a single parent as well that um I've been able to do my stuff because if the kids are in bed, I see if I've been watching telly, but I don't, I, but I wouldn't, I don't anymore. I just sit in my gaming room instead and just do what, whatever. Or if they're yeah. at school, if I'm not working, if they're at school, then I'd be just doing streams then while uh, my little girl's at school because um, she's like nine. Um, so yeah, it's not, I don't find it hard at all, to be really honest with you. It's, um, He's taking care of some of the trolls, but harder. Mentally dealing with, just yeah, I, feel, I find that harder. And I find my mental ability of just keeping a balance on everything, keeping positive for Twitch is actually more harder than juggling everything together. Um, I mean, that's been some hard times, but... Um, yeah, it's not, it's been, I've been very fortunate really fortunate I would if I'd have said that 10 years ago not a chance my little girl was into everything she grabbed everything so because she age she is 
um, yeah, I I don't have to. Um, she goes she goes to bed herself at a certain time. She's in a routine, so yeah, it's quite. Yeah, I'm very lucky for that. All right, this 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 leads in from what we were just talking about just then. Like, if you weren't streaming on 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 Twitch, what would you do with your spare time? Okay, if I'm not, if obviously the children are not, if the children are not here, um. Let me see. Like today, I've not streamed. So what I've done today is um, I got up at, um, early this morning. I put I downloaded Call of Duty, um, and then I've just been chilled at Sofa. Because obviously, um, with everything going off, we can't really do much. So we just chilled at Sofa for a day, and then we were playing some on PlayStation together in room. Um, and like now, she's um, she's just chilled out on um, on Sofa. Um, just watching a film and we've just had a tea so I really don't do much anymore if I'm not working I'm at home that's I don't actually mm. leave the house really um, I only leave when I really need to if I need to go get stuff or whatever but yeah I just tend to keep myself to myself but I don't really do much I just game <laughs> that's all I do and um, if I'm not cleaning that um, yeah so you're like you're like sort of like a homebody like me like just game and entertain and yeah do the necessaries yeah clean I mean I've just decorated my gaming room so yeah I've been doing cleaning decorating I did the garden the other day um hired a dumpster thing to clear out the attic and that so but I took a month off so yeah I'm doing like um just doing stuff right out and just um keeping up top and helping doing my children with the schoolwork and that's obviously not being able to go to school so um i just thought i need to take a break i need to just um come away from twitch and not worry about twitch not worry about discord not worry about twitter just shut it down and i need to take a step back and yeah and that's what i did and that was, and that was great to be honest with you, really good i just shut the gamer room i didn't even come in i, I grabbed my playstation though and brought it into the front room <laughs> yeah. i just never turned pc on it's um, good to do that from time to time. Though, it's just is. step back and have a bit of a break, you know, because, yeah. you know, you, you can have fun doing streams, you can have fun playing games and stuff like that, but in the end, it can also get you down. Yes. You need to, you need that self time to regenerate. Yes. If I put it that way. It, because the channel, well, well it's, it says 11,000 odd, but it's not. Somebody was really cruelly did that the other day, and um, I've reported it. It's yeah, and I've took clips and that, but like um, trying to deal with Twitter and stuff like social media is mentally draining. Yeah, I um, social media, um, like keeping up with like people you follow, um, and I and that uh, Discord it is it, it, it can mentally like because. You, you're just trying to like keep so many people happy and there's people um there's a lot there's like i don't know there's um a lot of demand like me i, got, I was really angry the other day about something actually somebody i do my rules are if you're gonna add me don't don't just jump in my game without asking me please just don't i just i like my privacy like and somebody did it the other day and i have to deal with that a lot and it was and, uh, kind of like a supposed to be a friend kind in a way that i've never game with them but They've always been all right with me, but then they just jump to the game. They're going, start a game up then. And I'm like, no, I'm I'm, I'm just sitting part of it. I mean, I'm doing something. I'm going to be playing Plunder. And like, well, are you going to play Battle Round? No, you just jumped in my party. I'll tell you what, F off, gone, and I blocked. No, and that's how brutal I am. I've done it even yeah. to a friend of 20 years. I'm like, Pudge. but it mentally drains me because it's like, um, especially stuff I get as well um, with some like comments I get I've had death threats I've had like the follow but what happened on the channel while I'm alive the other day um, people using my daughter's name um, while I would do the charity stream just things like that and that mentally gets to me it's oh and when I find out who it is it's always somebody closer than I think and yeah, so so what actually happened with you because the last I saw is you you had a massive um, uh, raid. That is that how you, you you gained a whole heap of followers? What are you saying? They're they're not real followers. Nope, follow bot. 
Somebody put you to Twitch. I don't know what somebody. What is so? I it's been happening to a lot of people. Um, so this is really sad. This um, that somebody has gone out of the way to pay. You can go to websites, pay, um, and pay to follow bot basically to get fake follows. Um, and that's what happened to me. It's happened to a friend of mine as well. I think he went from like thirty thousand followers. And he's now like at 60. Yeah. Um, and it's like, what the hell? And it's happened many times. It happened to me at the beginning of my Twitch as well. Um, so the raid I got was just it was a friend who would be been gaming with me. And it wasn't like, I mean, I appreciate any raid. I like, but it wasn't that big to get 2,500 followers in one go. Um, and this person was kind of trolling me in the channel. But um, I can even show you this. Uh, from what I've gathered that it's somebody attacking the, I mean, I'm in like kind of a Twitch team, um, supportive creators. Um, yeah. And I think it's somebody trying to attack that team because of several other people that it's happened to as well in the last couple of weeks. Um, but that's what people do. Mm. And sadly, that's what people actually do. They'll use their money and think it's okay to to do that but they're using their money to troll somebody i don't see the point that's, that's the time, i don't it? because if you want to get partnered to any the information it's viewers it's yeah. it, it's about the viewers and it's about um i never look at really about follows anyway i never to me one follow million follows whatever it's about who's in your channel it's about them people. And I'm I'm a p I've got a really good memory as well. So anybody who's even as long as you've been in a couple of times, I'll remember that person. They'll mm. tell me the name. And I've had like somebody come in from four years ago and goes, Hey, long time. I'm like, oh my God, such and such. And he goes, Remember me? Well, of course I remember your name. Um, yeah, you know, like, yeah, like but um so I, I always say this it's it's always about the people who give their time. Time's precious. Time is you know, anybody can hit a follow button and stuff like that. And it's, it's that time, though. When somebody gives me their time, is the best, it's the greatest gift of all. It really is. Because, yeah. um, and that's what I look into more than anything. Um, so I don't understand why anybody even does that with follow button, because it doesn't make an impact on anybody who wants to get partnered or, or anything like that. Because I've seen people who's got, like, a lot of yeah like 50,000 followers and only got 10 people in it. it it doesn't make a difference um really that like it's just yeah but i i can't get over what happened the other day i i was really angry deep down i was very angry um but i kept composure and i just like i said to the person who was streaming with uh, my partner i said to him look we i'm i'm gonna i'm just gonna stream I'm gonna raid you. I'll carry on gaming with you. And then I like I message and went. I, I just I just want to punch somebody right now. <laughs> I just want to punch somebody because I'm like, this is my first day back properly on camera. This happens. I'm like, they got to me. Congratulations to them. But um, I've been given some software that can remove them, which I'm excited to use because yeah, that'll get rid of any counts as well. What are not active anymore as well. So then I'm nice. excited to see my real number now. Um, so yeah, it's it's weird. It's it's the same on YouTube. Like I'm I'm watching a, a person at the moment, and I'm not watching the content. I'm just watching the figure, and he's he's getting something like ten ten views on a video, right? And then the next day he's getting two hundred and sixty thousand plus on every video. He's gone from a thousand subscribers. Up to eighty thousand subscribers in a day. Wow, it's crazy, and uh, you can tell it, it, it's it's bots being used or, or some something program or something to be used. You can clearly see that oh, it's just okay. sickening. But it's things like that that affect the other smaller YouTubers that are trying to do it legit and. Oh, that's crazy. I don't see the point there. And that, it, it, that stuff sort of pisses me off. It really does. Right. And it's scary because I always say this about um, it, it shows you what type of person they are. If they believe it, if they really believe that they're doing well and they're bought in the wrong channel, that's a scary person. That yeah. is a dangerous person. 
Um, and I, I, I've come from all forms of life. I've, I've walked, I've walked some paths, and to know certain people like that is just very scary. That for, for, for people to lie and believe it themselves that much. Um, and I'm hoping that it's not a personal attack on me. Um, but I always find out anyway. I'm really good investigating stuff, so I, I will find out. And but um, yeah, I mean, it's not done any damage because I mean, I, it, it really am. To, um, but it's just it, it's just like I don't want this number there when it's not originally there. I don't yeah. I, I don't like I don't I can't lie for, I can't lie to save my life. I, I I've tried and I'm like I've, I remember I, it was so small. I remember messaging somebody the next day going I've done this. Is that a bad thing? I oh my god! And it really eats away at me. My mental health can't take it. I can't. Yeah. And I'm that person. Me, if I think you like a C U N T in a dress, I will see it. I, it, you, you know, don't you? I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm terrible like that. But I, I'd rather be honest and be hated for that than be a dirty liar. I can't. Well, that's that's what makes you you, isn't it? It's what makes a person original. Like you see a lot of people being false and saying. Oh no, you do look good, and then you say to the next friend, "Yeah, I, whisper I'm not... and." Well, somebody over there, over, I've even had one time. This is this is it. This is I don't like to game with people. My channel's not about that. I, if I trust you, I'll game with you. Yeah. Um, and somebody once donated a thousand pounds to me, so technically oh, in wow. in dollars. Was about at time was about one thousand three hundred dollars just to game him, but I didn't like him. I don't. I didn't like him. <laughs> I told him so. I I managed to give him the money back live on stream. I went to say I don't want a game with you. Don't give me your money. I don't want your money. I don't. I don't trust you. I don't like you. I think you. I didn't come back to my channel after that, but he, he got refunded his money. Do yeah. yeah? Don't. <laughs> I could have done with that money at time as well. I would have, but no, I'm not going to sit there and pretend to like somebody for sake of a thousand pounds, maybe a million. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can't do that. I can't, and that's yeah. I did that. Like that were uh, two years into my channel, just donated it, and I could I could have been more than anything. But he was making a rate doing the chat, making a rate big scene when he donated money, and I'm crying, crying my eyes out. This is happening. But he's making a Twitch chat going, right, you're going to game with me now. You're going to game with me. I'm like, I'm going to be. He's, you know what? I'm not a thing to be bought. You're not buying me. Here's yeah. your money back. And people thought I was crazy, but I'm like, no, I don't I don't like you. You know, you're coming here with attitude and whatever, and I should be grateful for that money. But no, I'm not. You're not buying me. If you really want to game with me, you should build a trust with me. You know, that's all I ask. I don't want money. I don't want subs. Just, just yeah, just come in the channel. Make me feel like you're not going to try and destroy anything or bug me or just be rude and just be normal with me um yeah. oh yeah that's um I've, I've had some weird <laughs> stuff in the channel it really has but it's been great ah, awesome so you, you you said before you you're not a partner you're not going to apply you're affiliate though right yes i yeah. when i didn't know about the sub button i signed the forms the yeah. tax one because I thought about getting bits and I'm like, okay, okay, I can, that's fine. And then also this sub button came, and guess when this is crazy, a little crazy thing here too. So my daughter passed away on the 28th of June, 2015. I got the sub button 28th of June, 2017. Wow. The reason why I came to Twitch was my daughter, and yeah. I got the sub button on the day. And my daughter was born and died, and it's like how ironic. Um, so it does kind of mean a lot to me. Um, mm. But I did really want to see that I'm partnered because I started Twitch before affiliate, so I really want to see that like one day I'd partnered. But now I just see it is that I don't want to push for partner because I yeah. you got I don't want to if if, if the viewers are going to be there then I want them to be there, not because I'm going, I'm pushing, you know? Yeah. I, I don't want that. I want people to be there because they want to be there, not because they're lurking because I've asked them to. There's a, yeah. So, so what's, the, what's the difference between affiliate? Because I've just recently hit affiliate a couple of weeks back, about three weeks ago. What's the uh, difference between affiliate and partner? Partner, you get your tick. Um, also, you get more remotes. You actually get, um, I think, a little bit more of a cut 
you get um it there's there's a lot i think you get a lot more rights i've got a few friends who are partners um yeah. um and i mean the most would be great actually i do i would like to you know more emotes for the for the stream but um it's just that next level up really and that partner is there um and i like i'm trying to think exactly all the benefits for it um it's it, it become i think as well like invite to all the the twitch events and stuff like that um or i think really? you get half, like, yeah you get like half price um stuff um i said yeah, yeah the emotes so um i think it goes on base again with subs amount of subs you've got and uh, sub points sorry um i'm just the, the the benefits yeah i think it's just really to be honest with you, it, our our philly is now to our partner is it's just like a next level when you get a tick it really is but it, that's because how twitch has made it now yeah. but yeah i think it's just to show but it's it uh, i can't explain that's why i've not really applied for it because i've not understood what the next level for me would be yeah uh, you know I'm, and and i don't yeah um it's not a goal my goal was just to i i ate it a long time ago i i hit my goals on twitch a long time ago um and just and i'm just just keep pursuing it really i don't it doesn't bother me it's yeah the part doesn't bother me i sit there and think should i apply and that and i'm like um no i'm not ready I think there's more to it for partner and I'm not understanding it more and I'd like to investigate but when I'm ready I will investigate because when I do my own work I like to do but every I just yeah I would rather just concentrate on what I'm doing at the minute than worrying about something it would just mentally drain me that's the best way to be is just enjoy and fun yeah that's what it is and that's what so many people worry about is yeah. you know worrying about that next step um instead of just just going with the flow exactly yeah. exactly so through your time as a streamer is there any solid memorable moments in your stream that you'll always remember and you know yeah. laugh back at and stuff yeah oh. <laughs> loads yeah that's why i made them highlight videos of each year um i would say when i raised money i did i've done six 24-hour streams I've been at my channel's hosted an esports event. Um, I've I've met um, I've met my partner through Twitch, which was fairly by accident, and I didn't believe in all that. But um, yeah, um, and that's that's changing my life dramatically as well. Um, and silly moments with the horse head i wear like mass i'll wear a horse head mass dancing it's been it's been so many amazing moments that i'm so proud and honored to even have a channel like that i only asked to raise five thousand pound uh, five thousand sorry five hundred pound last year i was yeah. wonder woman for 24 hours it was to raise for lullaby trust um a charity in england for helping parents who lose their children um because they helped me yeah. And um we end up raising um two thousand two hundred. Um I, I I just cried the whole I said the whole twenty four stream and I looked at it the I just cried the whole way through. I just cried just because everyone was shocking me, everyone was just throwing money and I'm like, what are you going on? Because like, I won't I wouldn't oh I wouldn't like how can I put it? I never um put it out there either than what I was doing. I just said, do a 24 hour stream to a charity event. But I never like really put it out there. It's not really like appetizing myself much because I never tweet out myself barely. I do now and again, mm. but I'm terrible. I don't like bothering people. I don't like making that fuss as well. So even yeah. though I'm appetizing yeah. myself, I just don't like making a fuss. Um, and the charity was that overwhelmed what I'd done for them. They sent me and my kids to a day at the theme park a couple of months after. I did put the letter nice. in everything, but yeah. And uh, met the woman there, um, and they treat me like they treat me and the kids like royalty. I couldn't believe it, and they were like, 
and they were just saying thank you for what you've done and it was just yeah um and i did one for uh, cancer awareness as well i raised 1500 and I, I was she a princess of power for 24 hours i like to do it on the twitch anniversary so them were amazing phenomenal moments i can't even as a person to even have friends like that just makes me feel very lucky to say i keep saying all the time well i'm housebound i've not got friends oh no i've got a whole family um it's yeah and they've like really helped me and i said i met my partner through twitch uh by accidentally by going into a, a raid <laughs> that's crazy i'm not like that though i don't even speak to anybody like that it's kind of weird so but um sex i've been on nearly five years on and off so it's not a thing that i go down talking but then i mean he's been my rock for the last like few months because obviously the lockdown it's been is is yeah I, I can't even begin to even be honored to even, even be part of my life as well so twitch has literally saved my life as literally from being in the deepest darkest hole five years yeah. ago it's it's changed my life um so yeah, it's got some amazing, yeah, magical moments. It's been some very bad ones, <laughs> uh, some silly ones, but um, it's 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 all about that. Yeah, that brought it's that roller coaster, and it's just that feel of it, and it's it's brilliant. Awesome, awesome. So as we come to a close today, is there any advice you'd give anyone who was thinking about becoming a, a YouTuber, a Twitch streamer, or like an entertainer? If you knew, don't think big. Think modest. Don't be like, whoa, let's go, you know, that tip pad. No, take every day as it comes. Never be disheartened about if anybody doesn't come in. Even after me at five years, I've I've had fluctuated from a lot of viewers to some days even like very low. It, you know, you can't expect to get upset for people not coming in. But if people are not coming in, think about what you're doing wrong. Think about the, like, what you're going to stand out from the crowd. If you're in the if you're in the viewer list, you know, I'd like say you play Battlefield, for example. Say there's hundred streamers playing Battlefield. You're at the you're at the bottom of the list. Put find somebody else who's obviously the same numbers as you on there or next to you. Click on them, right, and see what the difference. You know, never but never compare. Never compared. Obviously, they're going, oh, well, she looks better than me. No, 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 no. You are you. You've got to be yourself. Never but never imitate. But then just but get, there's nothing wrong in ideas and like, oh, well, they're, you know, they've got this. You know, there's nothing wrong in that. But just, you know, be you. Don't be an ass kisser. Don't go into a channel self-promoting. Don't let people know that you stream. I, I go mad with anybody who shouts me out. <laughs> I go really mad. Mm -hmm. like, no. Don't shout me out. I'm not here. I'm here to see you. And, and that's what I'll... Um, and just, like I said, there's a million streamers. There's going to be even more. Just stand out from that crowd. As long as it's in t within TOS reasons, within the rules, you're not hurting yourself. You know, do, you know, do what you love the most. Being weird is not a bad thing. As long as you're not, you know, it's... Or, you know, if you're loud or, you you know, and don't worry about being shy. You're in your own house. When you're recording, you're in your home. So, yeah. you know, don't be afraid of being in your home and being who you are in your own house. And another thing, if you get scared to talk to yourself, put a mirror in front of you. I always say this. Like, but make sure obviously the camera can't see it and you're better to see yourself in reflection. It makes you think there's somebody else there talking to yourself where if nobody's there, always commentate it actually helps because when you watch tv they don't know how many viewers are watching and when, when you watch the news or you're watching commentary on soccer and that they're still commenting regardless of who's watching or not so mm. always think that somebody's watching you and either view will hide the viewer number just hide it <laughs> i don't know sometimes how many people's watching me but that's kind of my advice it's just yeah um and look after your son 
look after your scent. You know, if you put too much time into everybody else, not everybody's nice for what you think they are, sadly, but you will find the amazing people. But also make sure you look after number one as well. That's important. Mm. Um, but don't be too selfish at the same time. But being selfish is just, yeah, is. Awesome. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, Gemma, I want to say thank you so much for taking part of uh, becoming a new member of the uh, Tubecast fam. I, w- I really want to. I really want to say thank you for taking up, you know, part in this today. It, it, it means a lot, and. Uh, you know, my subscribers and fans are always looking for new content creators, and I'm just glad I can bring them you and your channel and, and stuff like that. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, no, it means a lot, honestly. I'm very honoured. Um, I'm very nervous today, and I'm, I'm really, sorry, really honoured, honestly. Yeah, you're just welcome, thank you're you. <laughs> But uh, yeah, for everyone, be sure to check the description down in the description box of Gemma's channel. Please, 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 it's a Z order. Go and follow and even subscribe to Gemma's, uh, Gemma Rambita Twitch. Awesome channel, very entertaining. And uh, you've heard from the person today, the person behind all the channel, in her own words, answering from the heart today. But uh, once again, Gemma, thank you so much for taking the time for this. Oh, thank you. And, uh, yeah. Until next time, guys, I shall see you on the next video.